I've sold over $1.2 million worth of t-shirts using Printify. And if you don't believe me, just take a peek at my dashboard here. As you can see, I've spent over $1,225,022.12 worth of t-shirts from using Printify as my fulfillment partner. I've been using Printify as my print on demand fulfillment partner for the last four years now. And I've tried a few different printers out there, but time and time again, I find myself coming back to Printify because I think they simply are the best. If you're new to my channel and new to this series, I've been going step-by-step -step to show why Printify is the best print provider out there and why you should start using them today. Hi guys, my name is Meg Heckman and I am a print on demand expert. In fact, this past year I have done over $1.1 million in revenue on my current brand. And in this video, I'm going step-by-step -step to show you how to fix issues with your orders on Printify. The idea of print on demand seems pretty simple. A customer will simply check out on your website or on your Etsy store. And that order then gets sent to Printify where they will print, ship, and fulfill your order for you. And basically it magically arrives at your customer's doorsteps. But something that a lot of people don't go into great detail about is how do you fix issues with an order that you have on Printify? And so today we're gonna go into my current Printify dashboard and we're gonna go through some orders that have an issue and talk our way through how we are able to resolve these issues for our customers. Because the last thing that we want is an angry customer. So the first thing that you're going to wanna do is go to printify.com, log into your account, and you should see something similar to the dashboard that I have here. As you can see, I have four orders that are requiring action. Your dashboard is a great place to get an idea of whether orders are going through smoothly or if there's any sort of hiccup. You can also sign up to receive notifications if orders have issues through Printify. These can be done in the settings, which we've talked about in previous videos. What we're going to focus on are these four orders that are requiring action. On the left-hand side, we're going to want to scroll down and click orders. So now that we are in our orders, I'm in my all orders tab. So this is where all of my orders, whether they have issues or not, are basically being stored. As you can see, they're on hold. I like to push all of my orders and submit them at the end of the day so that my credit card is only getting hit one time. This allows me to keep a really close eye on what my cost of goods are from day to day. As you can see in big red, it's definitely catching your attention. It says requires action. We're gonna click requires action and take a look at what's going on with these orders. And now that they've loaded, it seems, okay, we definitely have an out of stock issue. Let's open up one of these orders and really take a look and see what's going on. So now that we have this order opened, so as you can see, this is the shirt that is out of stock. And that is a Navy Extra Large. There's a few options that we can try in order to help save these orders. The first thing that we can do is reach out to our customer via email and just say, hi, like, You've checked out a product that we no longer have in stock. Would you like to switch this color to one that we do have in stock? Or if they really don't want that or don't wanna wait, then we can offer them a refund. Another thing that we can try is reaching out to customer support and getting a better idea of when this shirt will be back in stock. Sometimes they have an idea from printers and have an idea of their inventory and when they should be getting new inventory. And then the last thing that we can do is reroute these orders to a print facility that has as this color in stock. For the purpose of this video, we are going to actually start a chat with Printify's customer service. And the first thing that it's going to ask you is kind of like, hey, why are you reaching out to us? And we are going to pick order management. And that's because we have these four orders that are currently out of stock. We're gonna just give more information. Would we like to edit or cancel the order, report an issue with an order or ask something else? We can click ask something else. And then we can ask, when will Monster Digital have Navy XL in stock again? That didn't really work. Report an issue with an order. Here we go. This is probably a little bit better. You can say it has issues because it's under that tab. Okay, connect me to a live agent. So now we're actually going to be talking to a real person and we need to get the ID in order to give to the customer service agent. So I'm gonna just minimize this screen for a second. 
and you're going to take this big long number here we'll copy that and then we are going to paste that order id in the chat box and now we just wait to be connected to an agent which is always very quick i do have to say unless it's a busy time of year like during q4 printify's customer service is top notch they get to you pretty much immediately and have always been super helpful okay so let's re-ask our question again so we'll see what their customer service has to say okay and they responded back looks like we don't have a restock date on hand they'll reach out to monster digital swift pod actually has this in stock which is wonderful. Okay, so basically asking, do I have to manually do this? Or when I click submit on this order, should it automatically be rerouted to SwiftPod? Now I have it set up for automatic reroute based off of rules. If it's more expensive than $2 to fulfill the order, Printify then won't automatically reroute it. This is just a safety net so that I'm not stuck with a big issue and having to pay even more money to get these orders fulfilled. Again, it's all about playing like this happy medium with keeping your customer happy, but also keeping it within our budget that we have set for our cost of goods. Because when it comes to print on demand, the margins are not huge. It's not like software where you can be doing 80, maybe 90% profit margin. For us, we prefer to be around 15 to 20%, but really anywhere between 10 to 20% is a good margin for us. Okay, after checking, it looks like the order should have been rerouted to another print provider. Okay, holding for another moment. And as you can see, there's also, we can click alternative options on this order to get a better idea of some of the other options that are out there. We're checking with a global network of print providers. The Muna T, Textile Draw, Print Clever. So we definitely don't want to be rerouting this to an international order or to an international provider because then it would take even longer for those orders to get to those customers. So they got back to us and said, we will probably have to do this manually. If the order rerouting worked, the system would have found an alternative print provider and the order would have gone straight into production without being put on hold. So that may be because of the fact I, submit all of my orders at the end of the day so what we can actually do is try submitting this order and see what happens and see if it automatically reroutes to SwiftPod so we'll click submit okay so it's currently out of the requires action sending to production this is the order that we just sent and it's gone it went away so the order definitely is either in production or going into production. But this is kind of the typical steps that I'll take if I am having any issues with orders. Other issues that tend to pop up from time to time are issues with shipping addresses. So if customers put in their address incorrectly or Printify's software isn't able to find the address that the customer wrote in, Printify does use a third party address like locating software and it's not always perfect. So when that happens, we typically will reach out to the customer and basically just ask them to clarify clarify their address. A lot of times this can happen with international orders. We definitely see that time and time again with fulfilling worldwide, not as much with US kind of traffic. Other issues that we have out of stock like we just dealt with, but for the most part, this is how we go about any kind of issues that we're having with Printify orders specifically. Printify also offers a really cool thing called Printify Connect, where you can actually use Printify as your customer service agent. So when a customer has actually received their order, Printify will send them an email with all of your kind of branding that you can tailor to your own brand. They won't even know that they're talking to somebody at Printify, but they'll basically ask like, hey, how did you like your order? Were there any issues with your order? And if they say yes, Printify will actually try to resolve that issue for you. Now, only some issues will Printify be able to actually take care of. For example, if let's say the shirt was delivered to, it was never delivered. That's something that Printify can take care of because of the fact that the shipping is on Printify's end. Another issue that we can run into is if they sent the wrong shirt, so either the wrong color or the wrong print was printed on the shirt, Printify would then either allow them to have a refund of their order or we could actually reprint the order and make sure that we're shipping them a brand new shirt with the correct print or size or color that they actually ordered. Printify, again, can't cover every single customer service issue that you have, but this can definitely take a large chunk of the customer service burden that is put on our shoulders as print on demand sellers. Personally, I have not used Printify Connect just because I have a customer service agent that covers 
all of my print on demand customer service needs. But if you're just starting out, this can be a great way to really dive into the business and not have to focus as much on the customer service side of things than if you are somebody who is a little more seasoned and you're used to handling these types of issues. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more information on how to get started with either Printify or in print on demand, then click the link in the description below and join my free school community where I go step by step and show you everything that you need to know from setting up your LLC to picking a niche and finding designs all the way to advertising and actually driving traffic to your Shopify store. So if that's something that interests you and you're looking for that kind of one-on-one -on -one help, definitely join the free school community that I have linked in the description below. But other than that, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.